Hi, I'm Doug. And I'm Kathy. And this is Maggie Mae. This is Maggie Mae. Join us as we follow the moon. Today, we kind of actually were following the moon, even a little bit more than normal. A little bit, yeah. This story all began on Wednesday, the 15th of November. That was two days ahead of when SpaceX was supposed to launch the StarCraft on Friday the 17th. So we want to first of all take you around and show you what we saw down at Boca Chica. Very different than what we're used to seeing on the Space Coast in Florida. Yep. And so come along, see what uh, Starbase looks like, and then we'll come back and talk about the launch. Thanks. Now, as you're driving out towards Starbase, this is the first thing you see are the large buildings on the horizon. And over to the right, you can see one of the launch towers. There you can see it just a little bit better on the right hand side of the road. Uh, what I meant about being so different than the Space Coast of Florida is if you go to NASA, which is a beautiful facility, from the parking lot, you can see some things in the distance, but everything else, you have to take a tram tour or a yeah, bus tour yeah. out to these, these launch pads and everything. This is a main highway, and it's actually in process of being repaved and resurfaced because it's in really rough shape, they said, from all the equipment going into uh, Starbase and into Boca Chica there, but uh, the road is really rough in spots, but it's getting better. They were working on it while we were there two days before the launch. Yeah. Um, and we went before the launch because from what we've heard, it gets really, really crazy. Yeah. So what you're seeing here on the left is actually where the starship and the stage one the rocket that lifts it up there are built and those tall buildings uh we'll show you when we drive back from the other direction there's one of them that you can see it must have five or six starships in there that's mm -hmm. that's their where that's they're built their garage. yeah a lot of construction a lot of growth for everything that has been built there to make this place functional, you can tell it's the tip of the iceberg with the amount of crew, the amount of equipment, uh, and I can only think about the amount of, of money that's yeah. been spent on yeah. it. So once you go past those buildings, you'll see the launch pad up there on the right-hand side of the road. Now again, when you compare this to Florida, you can't yeah. drive your car anywhere near no. one of the launch pads. We literally drive right beside it. It was pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, it was, you could tell to look at it, it's very high tech, it's very sophisticated the way it's done, but it's totally laid out differently than I'd imagined. I was thinking much more like Florida NASA. When you see that pad, you're almost to the beach. Yeah. You're almost to the Gulf. So it's a, uh... there you're starting to see Starship when we were there was still on the ground. It didn't get stacked until the following day, Thursday. Um, and you can't see the stage one rocket from that other angle. But as we come up here beside it, uh, I'm actually going to freeze it for a few seconds so you can see the stage one rocket is sitting there on the pad. That's actually the tall part that you see right there. And then Starship is sitting right in front of yeah. it and has the arms around it so that it can be lifted up and put on top of the hot staging ring on top of the first stage. There are the two pieces. Right there, yeah. And you're that close, driving right past it. 
you see those tanks. If you watched the blast off, you saw that some of the debris dented one of those tanks. The tank is right along the road. This is Boca Chica Beach. We'll talk a little bit more about that beach here at the end. But uh, when you get down to the end, we turned around, came back past the launch pad, and these are the back side of those three buildings that we showed you coming in. There's a real iconic uh, Starbase sign that sits kind of out along the road. It actually had cars parked in front of it and construction equipment in front of it. So you couldn't really see it too well, but it was there. This was the view that got me. If you see the one closest to the road and how it looks like it has a stripe going up the middle, that stripe is actually an opening. And you can see the starships inside that building, U-shaped, lining the edges. Yeah, it was pretty amazing to see. There you can see them right inside. But yeah, this is a massive complex already, and it's going to do nothing but get bigger and bigger. And look over there. Mm -hmm. More of them sitting there ready mm -hmm. to go. It was, it was pretty exciting to be that close. Yeah, and you can tell this is in its infancy that we were getting to see it like this. This was just prior to the second Starship launch here. So they've been through testing, but not a whole lot more. I, I don't want to say I'm predicting anything, but I can see this all being kind of closed off to the public yeah. eventually. Yeah. I, so I felt really special to be able to see that. I'm glad we got to see it when yeah. we did. And there's yeah, the Starbase sign. Yeah. <laughs> So that was quite a place, wasn't it? It sure was. So comes to Friday morning, seven o'clock central time launch window. We find out the night before that it's scrubbed. They're doing a repair on the uh, stage one. And so it was scrubbed for Friday on for Saturday. So the rest of the video goes on from right here. We came out about quarter of seven on Saturday morning, which you know, anybody that knows us knows that that's no small feat. That's right. <laughs> but we were out here about quarter to seven, waiting for it to go up. And this is what we saw. This was the second Starship attempt. And we are about 40 miles away from the actual launch site. And this is the view we had. Yeah. Now on YouTube, we were watching NSF, NASA Space Flight, and they were showing us what we couldn't see, what was going on there with the actual liftoff. So that was on the outdoor TV, the indoor TV. This is what we saw. Sun was just coming up. And that ball of fire down there is nothing to do with the launch. That's the sun coming up. And it was a beautiful sunrise. But the launch came up right there by it. Yeah. That was the, the solid, yeah. or the, the rocket booster, when it was terminated. And what a view. Mm -hmm. That was so beautiful. Well, Kathy, that was a pretty spectacular launch. It sure was. Even a little bit more colorful, I think, than what we'd anticipated. Yeah, it was nice. But definitely a success any way you look at it. That's right. And. Uh, what did you think of Starbase on our day down there? That was pretty amazing. Uh, it, we'll talk about the other, but that was pretty amazing. Well, the, the other is the launch pad is literally a few hundred yards off the beach. It's right on the coast. 
And so once you get to the launch pad, driving out on, on that main road, the road goes to kind of a gravelish and then it goes to sand and goes right out onto the beach. It was probably the dirtiest stretch of beach I've ever seen. It was horrifying. You know, I, I don't really get into a lot of the uh, the talk about you know, climate change and what we're doing to animals and this and that. But, you know, we all know that the trash is going to, if it's sitting right there on the beach and the water's right there, that it's going to go in there. And it was, I've never seen a beach that was so much like a dump. So, you know, really my thought is as we're looking up and where we can be in the future, you know, we could have a better future here on earth if we looked down, Yeah. grab a bag, grab a bag whenever you go somewhere, just grab a bag and fill it. You know, and um, the litter situation has nothing at all to do with SpaceX, Starbase, yeah, yeah, anything sorry. that way. It just happened to be, that's where it was it's located. There, yeah. And all the people come in to watch it. They're just like, and there was a big can. It was a, it was. It was so bad. We've been in a lot of, of cities and a lot of cities in the not so great areas. And they put this to shame. <laughs> I, I've never, uh, it made me really sad. It really made me sad. The one thing I really did enjoy about it is unlike NASA in Florida, where you get on a bus and go to the launching pads because they're so far back away from everything. Just you're drove right past you're literally it. just yeah. driving past it. And many of them are along the, the road at least are not even fenced they just yeah. say no trespassing beyond this point and yeah. you can see the construction trucks and everything going in and out but it's a busy place for what it's worth we had a ball with it if there's another one before we head out of south texas we may end up and try and go closer if so we'll bring you more on that when that happens and if you haven't already subscribed to our channel we're going to put a button up here just hit it Ring the notification bell, that way you'll know when all of our videos come out. And if you enjoyed today's video, leave us a thumbs up. We sure appreciate it. And thank you for following us as we follow the moon.